everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a get ready with me gym edition. This is how I get ready for the gym in terms of makeup. I know that this lip isn't for everyone, there is another option that is a lot more natural looking. It's one of those looks that you should be able to do in like literally five, five minutes really. Without the lip, the lip takes a bit longer. For the hair, I actually slept in my hair like this. Um, it's just too... Um, braids. Just Google or YouTube French or Dutch braids if you want to know how to do this or if you want me to do a tutorial on how to do this hair then let me know. So, yes. <coughs> I'm ill. So yeah, anyway, enjoy this tutorial. So, this is my face in the morning. Enjoy it. So, the first thing that I'm going to do to make this look a little bit more bearable is to add some concealer. It's amazing what concealer can do on its own. And the other day I discovered this concealer. It is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Perfect and Cover Concealer in light. It's got like a sponge on the top which I always thought was a bit of like a fad like why do you need the sponge but it's actually this concealer. Amazing. So all I'm going to do is just twist it a few times until the product comes out. I'm not going to put any foundation on because I don't wear foundation to the gym. Um, I'm aware that a lot of people will think, well why the hell are you wearing any makeup to the gym? And that's because you've just seen how I look without makeup. And I don't feel comfortable going to the gym without any makeup on. So all I'm going to do is use this concealer. I'm going down with a cold as well. Elliot's had a cold all week and now I'm getting it which is just great. So yes it does look like I'm painting my face in this but I'm honestly just going over my red areas. There just happens to be a lot of red areas on my face. I'm right as a ghost. Okay so I'm going to use a beauty blender to rub this in. Oh, I thought I was doing so well not get catching this cold and now I've definitely got it. I just think adding even just like a little bit of concealer under your eyes really makes you look like 150 times better. Well, me anyway, not everyone. Some people look great without makeup. I do not. I was not blessed with that gift. I've got such wrinkles on my head. I should not have wrinkles at my age, should I? I'm 23. Then I'm going to just quickly put on a little bit of powder. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder, I think. Um, just so I don't look as horrendously pale. I look so pale when I wake up, I don't know why. I swear I'm like five shades darker by the end of the night, somehow. Anyway, I'm bringing this down here. Don't know why, I just felt like it. Okay, so to do my eyebrows, I'm going to use my favourite eyebrow stylus, which is the one by Sleek. It comes like this, you get a brush on one end and a um, pencil on the other. So the first thing I do is comb all of these out, that just gets rid of any product that's left in them. So it's like an angled pencil, which makes it really, ugh, just put something on makes it really easy to apply. I just start by doing underneath, and your eyebrows aren't going to sweat off during your workout because we're going to say it in a minute. I've never had a problem with people wearing makeup at the gym, like I don't understand why people are so against it. But yeah, anyway, sorry, I can't talk when I'm filming my eyebrows. It requires super amounts of concentration. I just use the brush bit again and focus that on the inner corner of your eyebrow. So it looks more natural. And then, to make sure that my eyebrows don't go slipping off when I'm in a sweat, I am going to use, what's it called? Okay, so where are you? Hello? Don't do this to me. Okay, so this is by Maybelline again. God, I'm loving Maybelline at the moment. Uh, this is the Brow Drama in Dark Blonde. It's a sculpting like gel, but it's coloured, so don't go just spreading it anywhere. Like, really focus it on where you've just drawn that line. This kind of thickens it up and makes it look a lot more natural because it makes the actual hairs defined. Then I'm just going to use like literally the slightest bit of bronzer um, again just to, to give my face a bit of colour because I am literally ridiculously pale at the moment. Um, and not really much technique to this, I'm just going to go in there, you know how you do bronzer. I guess you are trying to make it look 
a bit more natural than your normal makeup, but I really don't care. Like, I feel like society makes me want to make it look natural, um, whereas I'm just like, I don't care, I'll go in a full face of makeup. The only thing that I wouldn't want to wear to the gym is like a full on heavy foundation because I feel like that would just get annoying and it would just start slipping around when you get sweaty, but I'm just going to go for a natural look on the eyelids and just use a gold colour all over the eyelid. Super quick because a lot of the time when I'm getting up and going to the gym, I don't want to be spending loads of time. Then a mascara. This one's great for gym because you can get it in waterproof. It's Barry M anyway. Barry M Showgirl mascara. I'm just gonna put like a little bit of this on. Anyway, that's that. To get a bit of gloss or a bit of um, lip balm. On there with that, it's quite natural. You can get away with, you know, I'm not wearing heavy makeup. Um, you still look a little bit like shit. It's better than wearing nothing. But this is not how I'm going to finish it. And do you know why? Because I don't listen to the rules. So what I'm going to do is do a horrendously dark brown lip. But the reason that I'm going to do this is on Snapchat a few weeks ago, which is my name is Hannah Lee Zero on Snapchat. If you want to follow me. <clears throat> Just thought I'd plug that while I can. I went to a boxing class and I posted a picture of me beforehand with braids like this and also a dark lip because I like my makeup to represent how I'm feeling. So when I feel like a badass because I'm going kickboxing, then I want to look like a badass. I wore the darkest brown lip ever. Kind of like Kylie True Brown. Okay, or whatever. I'm actually using a brown eyeliner. This is L'Oreal. 16 hour infallible, I don't know what this is called, there's too many words! Infallible, indefectible, stylo eyeliner, retractable eyeliner, waterproof, lasts up to 16 hours. Okay, so, all I'm going to do is line my lips with this and then fill it in. Yeah, my stomach's rumbling because I haven't had anything to eat yet. Oh yeah, I didn't finish my reason and why I was showing you this. Oh yeah, so I posted this look on Snapchat and then loads of people were like, oh my god, what have you got on your lips? Everyone seemed to like it, so I thought I'd show you how I did it. And this would be the finished look. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that this bit isn't for everyone, so you can always just stick to the lip balm or lip gloss or whatever if you don't enjoy it. But I thought I would show you since people were asking on my Snapchat. I'm off to the gym now, I'm going to do, well I'm going to take this off and do some Pilates. I feel like the Pilates instructor would not appreciate this look. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please let me know down in the comments and let me know what you want to see next time. If you're not already following me on Blog Lovin or you haven't seen my new blog then it's hannahlee.co, super easy to remember. I've literally spent ugh, hours and hours and hours, too much time, pimping it out. So it is so good now. I love it so much. So if you want to see loads of outfit posts on there and a bit of other things, then go and check that out. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. So yeah, see you next time. Bye.